why won't the governor accept a 12% increase in general fund spending? Here's where we end up. June 30th. Here's where we're going with our 10 budget bills. This is what the governor wants. Plus a 2% tax on the wealthiest people in this state. First of all, to jump in, 2010 is <coughs> no, no, no. $34.9 billion. With stimulus money, folks. With stimulus and with the K-12 shift. One time, one time money. Shift. One time money, folks. Fine. I'm talking general Fine, but the fund the fact money. is, is that the state obligated through statutory <coughs> language $34.19 billion. And, and so, the and majority I, and I of the past there. did and put us in the and hole. The so let's be honest here. We're talking about the dollars you put in. No stimulus funds here. They just get us into trouble. And you see where we're at right now. We're talking about what the citizens put in out of their money. $30 billion is what that is in this biennium. Now, what makes it so different if we can't take care of the people at $30 billion, which we're doing the last two years, we need to jump to thirty-seven. We're giving a twelve percent in increase. Twelve percent. How many of you business people got a twelve percent increase in your sales or in your business or your employee salaries? Let's be realistic here. We're talking general fund money. We're not talking all this stimulus dollars, which just get us into a bind. Mike, you have to recognize that over half of our state budget is federal money that comes in. We don't look at it just in the general fund. If you look at our state spending just as the general fund, that's less than half of what we spend. We always, we always look at the budget as a whole. And that is the federal funds that come into our budget. And at different times and in different uh, parts of history, state funding and federal funding will be changed. Whether it came when No Child Left Behind was first passed and the federal government um, put a bunch of money into states for, uh, for state education. And guess what? We accepted that money because we knew that there were mandates from the feds on that. And, and, and so when you're looking at that from that standpoint, that, I mean, that, that does have to be recognized in the broad picture. So I, I get, though, that, yes, there were $30 billion in the state expenditure, but the fact is, is that we did spend, as a state, under our obligation of legislation that was passed, $34 billion. 